Is that and who's sense? producing the who? In with who? Are they bringing their own team in, or it would it would be me? I would be the one that would pretty much be orchestrating everything on this end. I would be the sole person in the studio. So I would book the session and be in there working with me. And what if? they want to work with well well part of the project for us is for us to provide the music to and be interested in the music and to do songs on our production got it so also how would it work with his current label he signed to and you know I'm, I one I'm, I'm thankful because I feel like I wouldn't be where I am now had I not joined the platform. And, and honestly, like I've, I've grown to a point where it's like the super small stuff that I'm, I'm just like appreciative of, like just that I, I have a, a space where I can just have fun, like editing videos, like, cause I don't want to do anything public right now. Like where I can just like have fun putting together a video that only a handful of people are gonna see and like that that be like honestly more joy that I, I get from that than regular music stuff and just the growth like I, I'm cool like I'm cool honestly like if if I never get uh, 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 I can get straight negative points I can be the first a &R member to get negative points and like I'm, I'm, I'm really in a, a, a good, a good headspace, I guess. What's good, y'all? Make sure I like the videos. Get in the comments. We just been, we just been working like crazy. Just uh, the greatest things are not on the internet and never gonna be on the internet. And I'm not gonna try to put things that shouldn't be on the internet on the internet. You know what I'm saying? That's just. It's just not my reality, you know what I'm saying? But today, I want to take you guys into a recent music challenge that we did for the Monster and our producers. You know, I'm always doing things to just push them past their comfort zones, um, past their creative abilities, so that they can tap into a new world. You know, there's so much to reach for as a music producer, as a music creative, as a songwriter, as an artist. And that's what we do here at Monster and R, always looking to push people beyond their comfort zones. You know what I'm saying? And I think I did that with this last challenge, which is dope. Um, and I'm going to play a video from one of the Monster and R members. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say his name because, you know, he probably doesn't even feel comfortable for, to have his video up. But I'm going to put it up because, you know, the one thing that us as creatives and us as human beings need to understand that it's all time for us to be able to express ourselves and voice ourselves. And I'm going to tell y'all, man, being a music producer, being in this music industry, one of the most important tools to have is the ability to communicate with every single person. You have to be able to express yourself. You have to be able to express your creative thoughts, your creative ideas. You have to be able to tap into other people's creative thoughts, other people's creative ideas. You have to be a human being. You have to be able to have people be comfortable around you, to be trusted around you. You have to have people trust you. And that is what people don't understand on the internet. Y'all just think music, 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 promotion, promotion, promotion. And a lot of y'all get into real studios with real people and just be straight out weirdos because y'all don't feel comfortable socializing with strangers or y'all don't feel so comfortable socializing with other artists or you guys aren't secure within your art. You guys don't have confidence within your music so you don't believe in yourself, but you guys are at home tapping out, like banging out all of this, this these songs, all of these beats, but y'all don't even know how to communicate to a human on, on a human level, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show these videos because there are thousands of other creatives that feel the same way as Monster a and R members, you know what I'm saying? So it's important for y'all to hear how they feel so you guys can relate, but it's also important to have someone like me to push them past their boundaries because that's what I had. You know, I had two managers in the music industry. You know, my manager George worked for Universal, my manager Shaq worked for Interscope. And, you know, they were putting my music in places I would never put my music. They were going into meetings I never wanted to go into. 
you know, they were speaking on my behalf and they were putting me in situations where I had to communicate because when you get to that level and you got a life changing opportunity in front of you, you have to be able to 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 have success in that session. You, you don't have oppor- you don't have the space or the floor to miss out on opportunities when you get to this level. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to show you all this music review. Yo, what's up, squad? Um, I just want to talk to you all for a second. You know, I'm, I'm nobody, but. You know, I'm a part of this platform, and first of all, I want to say shout out to Dane, man. That that challenge was, that was it. That was the challenge that, you know, really pushed me and made me realize that there's so much more. There's so much more to try to, you know, to, to strive for within this thing we call music production. You know, I think a lot of times now, you know, we get caught up into just grabbing a loop, a drum loop, a splice loop, or just even even just a, a general sample and just throwing some drums or throwing something on it. But rarely do we really sit down and like try to come from a a, a, a truly different place of or train of thought, you know. And I think I really do believe that 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 type of you know dedication and you know relationship with music is desperately needed you know in these times you know you can't you know we all get in the in, in, in the in the routine you know of doing the same things and you know to me that's not that's not the true definition of you know creativity you know and so i really want to say you know shout out to everybody who submitted to these challenges especially this one um because i know for me personally I sat down for days and I, I couldn't come up with no kind of <laughs> uh, Solange-esque um, elements. You know, her style is very unique and um, it requires true knowledge of, you know, music theory and, and, and everything. And not just knowledge, but just, you know, commitment and, and dedication to, to music, you know, someone who just follows trends can't sit down and just recreate the work that she does and that's why i said i know even going into cement to the challenge that I, I i i it was gonna be very hard to find some elements but you know i did my best and i um i think i pushed myself to a to a level that i haven't you know seen in a while you know going back to my you know days as a child when you know you're unfiltered you know uncompromised and no one's telling you what's right or wrong and you you kind of go on what's in your heart and what's in your mind. Um, this challenge kind of made me go back to those times. And, you know, I really appreciate it. And like I said in my comment, you know, it's not about the the points or the standings. It's just about, you know, if you push yourself creatively, you know, creatively, and, you know, you were able to go into a different level than what you normally do, I think you were successful with this challenge. And I do believe that that's the... Um, you know, the goals of all the challenges that you give to us, but definitely this one, man. Hats off to Solange. Props to you for, you know, props to you and this platform for, for you know, pushing us to different levels. Um, and I look forward, you know, to more challenges in the future. Ten, ten plus years, dude. I know, for real, right? <laughs> How many years was it? It's been, it's been over ten so years. Y'all don't do the fist bump out there. Huh? No. <laughs>